Let's start with tutorial three, question number two. In this question, we are supposed to solve the following non-homogeneous Cauchy-Euler differential equations. Now, to understand what is non-homogeneous differential equations, we have seen that on the right-hand side of the equation, there is some term, there is some function of x over here. And Cauchy-Euler differential equations are those equations in which the power of x is equivalent to the order of differential of the term joining this uh, coefficient. So over here, we solve this by substituting the value. So the first part is going to be same. I'll substitute the value is of x square y double dash s d d minus one of y and x y dash s d of y in the above equation. Let's find out the general solution. So I'll get d d minus one of y minus four times d of y plus six y is equal to zero. Let's take the y common and open up the first bracket. So I'll get d square minus d minus 4d plus 6 of y is equal to 0. Or this becomes d square minus 5d plus 6 is equal to 0. Now over here, uh, my auxiliary equation. It will become m square minus 5m plus 6 is equal to 0. I can easily split the middle term, middle term over here. So I'll get two component minus 3 and minus 2. So this equation will become m square minus 3m minus 2m plus 6 equals to 0. I can take m common from the first two terms. So it will become m m minus 3. And in this from the second two terms, I'll take minus 2 common. So I'll be left with m minus 3 equals to 0. So this will give me two values m equals to 2 and m equals to 3. On substituting the values, I'll get as y is equals to c1 e raised to the power 2z plus c2 e raised to the power 3z. Now this z I'll be using to find out the particular integral. Right. Also, uh, this is my uh, general solution. So if you substitute the values of, okay, this is, let's say this is my first equation. Now, if I substitute the values of z over here, I'll get 2 log x plus c2 e raised to the power 3 log x. This 2 will go to the power of x and this 3 will also go to the power of x. So I'll have yc is equals to c1. Since this exponential function and log function will cancel each other, so we'll get c1x squared plus c2x cubed. This is the first part. I'll be using it later on. Now let's try to find out the solution of the particular integral. So over here, I have two component, y1 is equal to e raised to power 2z and y2 is equal to e raised to power 3z. I'll be using variation of parameters. The method of variation of parameters to find out the solutions over here. So over here, y1 is e raised to the power 2z as we have seen earlier and y2 is e raised to the power 3z. First of all, I'll try to find out the value of W, which is, first of all, I'll write down Y1 e raised to the power 2Z and Y2 e raised to the power 3Z. In the second row, I'll differentiate each of the terms. So while differentiating first term, I'll get 2 e raised to the power 2Z and the second term Y2, it will give me 3 e raised to the power 3Z. Now let's try to find out the differential. So I'll multiply this with this minus this with this. So I'll get 3 e raised to the power the power will get added up because it's multiplication. So you'll get e raised to the power 5z minus 2 e raised to the power 5z. So 3 minus 2 is 1. So you'll lift with e raised to the power 5z. That's it. So I got the value of w. Now the solution yp, it is given as y1 minus y1 integration of y2 by w f of z. Z. Now, since we are dealing with z, this will, should be a function of z only. Plus y2 integration of y1 by w f of z dz. Now, what is f of z over here? See, we have understood that this was a function of x earlier. Now, I need to make it the function of z. So, I'll be substituting x equals to e raised to the power z, our common uh, assumption that we had taken over here. So, it will become 21 e raised to the power minus 4 z. 
right so this is what i got over here and this is my function of z let's substitute the values i have got all the values so yp is equals to minus y1 y1 we know y1 was e raised to the power 2z so minus e raised to the power 2z integration y2 e raised to the power 3z over w e raised to the power 5z f of z e 21 e raised to the power minus 4z dz so the first part second part y2 that is e raised to the power 3z integration y1 e raised to the power 2z over w e raised to the power 5z fz is 21 e raised to the power minus 4z dz let's try to solve this one this may look a little bit complicated but since they, they are exponential terms only it is quite simple to solve so i'll have minus 2 e raised to the power 2z inside this 3 minus 5 minus 4 so 3 minus 5 is minus 2 minus 4 so it will become minus 6 so in 21 integration of e raised to the power minus 6z dz plus e raised to the power 3z integration of 21 now 2 minus 5 minus 4 it will become minus 7 e raised to the power minus 7z dz now let's integrate this so we'll have minus e raised to the power 2z or 21 will come also so i'll write down minus 21 e raised to the power 2z multiplied by e raised to the power minus 6z over six minus six plus e raised to the power 3z or 21 will come since it is a constant so 21 e raised to the power 3z into e raised to the power minus 7z over minus 7. So this is term I got and it's just 3z. So I can take 21 common out of here and this minus will get cancelled with this one. So I'll have 21, now 2 minus 6, so minus 4. So e raised to the power minus 4z I have divided by 6 minus e raised to the power minus 4z by 7. I'll have 21, 7 e raised to the power minus 4z minus 6 e raised to the power minus 4z over 42. So this will become 21 by 42, that is 1 by 2, and 7 minus 6 is 1. So you'll get e raised to the power minus 4z by 2. Now, if I substitute the value of z uh, as well, so I'll get 4 log x by 2, which will become x raised to the power minus 4 by 2. So this is the value of my yp. So my final answer will be the summation of yc and yp that we have obtained. So yc was c1 x square plus c2 x raised to 3 and yp is x raised to minus 4 by 2. So this is my final answer for Now let's try to try to see the next question how we can solve that. Now over here, the first part, the, the left hand side, it is similar to uh, the general solution and right hand side we have log x as the function. So I'll start with the list, uh, left side part in place of x square y double dash we'll substitute d of and d minus 1 of y in place of x y dash we'll substitute d of y. So we get d d minus 1 of y minus d of y plus y is equals to log of x or in this case it is 0 because i'm finding the general solution i'll take this case left from so this will become d square minus d minus d plus 1 of y is equals to 0 or d square minus 2d plus 1 of y is equals to 0. so from here i got my auxiliary equation 
my auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 2m plus 5, which is basically the expansion of m minus 1 whole square. So from here, uh, the value of m1 and m2, it is going to be equal to 1. Now, if I substitute the values over here, I'll get the value of y to be equal to c1 plus c2 times z e raised to the power z. Uh, sorry, mz. Or c1 plus c2 times z e raised to the power z itself because the value of m is 1. So this is the equation I'm going to use, or I'll just expand it once more. So c1 e raised to the power z plus c2 z e raised to the power z. I'll be using this equation to find out the variation of parameters and the uh, particular integral. Yes, if I substitute the value of x over here, I'll be left with c1 e raised to the power log x plus c2 log x e raised to the power log x. Or this simply becomes c1 x plus c2 x log x in terms of x. Now, this equation I'm going to use, this equation is what I'm going to use to find out the variation of parameter. And this becomes my y1 and this becomes my y2. So let's solve this. The value of y1 was e raised to the power z and the value of y2 was z e raised to the power z. Let's try to find out the value of w. w becomes e raised to the power z, z e raised to the power z. The differentiation of e raised to power z is e raised to power z and the differentiate over here will be done by parts. So first of all, I'll take z constant and integration of, sorry, differentiation of e raised to power z, which is e raised to power z. Now I'll take uh, e raised to power z constant and the differentiation of z is one, so I'll get this part. Now sol uh, solving this determinant, I'll have z e raised to the power 2z plus e raised to the power 2z minus z e raised to the power 2z. So I'll be left with only e raised to the power 2z. So let's try to find out the value of yp, which is minus y1 integration of y2 by w f of z dz plus y2 integration of y1 by w f of z dz. Let's try to substitute the values over here. So the value of y1 is minus e raised to the power z integration of y2 is z e raised to the power z over e raised to the power 2z f of z. Now this is a function of x. I need to make it function of z. So I'll have log of in place of x we substitute e raised to the power z. So this power will come outside and log of e is one since it is a natural log so i'll be left with z so the f of z the function over here is simply z so i'll substitute z over here and dz plus y2 the value of y2 is 2 e raised to the power z sorry it's not 2 it's z e raised to the power z integration y1 is e raised to the power z over w e raised to the power 2z into Z, dz. Now I need to find out the uh, integration over here. Let's try to simplify this first, then we'll find out the integration. So it will become minus e raised to the power z into, uh, sorry, in integration, we have z square e raised to the power z minus 2z. So I'll have minus z dz plus z e raised to the power z integration z e raised to the power minus z dz. This is what I got and this integration I have to do by parts. So I'll be doing this integration by parts. Uh, this part I'm giving you as a part of your homework because uh, it's a lengthy process. Try to solve this one, you'll get the answer for sure. The answer that you're going to get, you can check it once, will be equivalent to minus z square e raised to the power minus z minus 2 z e raised to the power minus z minus 2 e raised to the power minus z this is for the first term 
plus 2 e raised to the power z minus 2 e raised to the power minus z minus e raised to the power minus z. This is for the second term. If you open up the brackets and if you solve this, you are going to get z square minus 2 e raised to the power. Okay. Uh, this will become my plus 2z plus multiplying this will become 2 this will become minus 4 and this will become minus 2 so let's solve this uh, you'll be getting z square okay uh, this will become So I have left some z square over here. Okay, this is uh, 2, this is z. So you'll be having so to z. You'll be having z square over here minus z square. And this z square will get cancelled over here. So you'll be left with 2z. I guess I have made some mistake over here. Let's try to uh, write this part this will become z square plus 2z minus 2 plus the minus z square and last part will become minus z this will be plus 2. So if you solve this, uh, you will be left with 2z minus z, that is z and plus 2. Plus two right? So this 2 will get cancelled over here. So it's plus 2. Right? So, okay. uh, and if you substitute the value of z, so y will become uh, log x plus so we have the value of y p as well as y c. If I substitute the values over here, I'll be having y is equals to y c plus y p, which becomes c one e raised to the power log of x, or that is x plus c two x log x plus log x plus 2. So this is going to be my final answer. There is some typography mistake over here, but I guess you will be able to understand this part. Let's try to see the next question. Now in this question, initial conditions are given. So obviously this question is going to be a little bit landier. Let's try to solve it step by step. The first step, I'll be finding the general solution uh, by identifying the auxiliary equation. For that, I'll be substituting x square y double dash equals to d, d minus 1 of y. I'll be substituting x y dash equals to d of y. So let's substitute these values. You'll be getting d, d minus 1 of y minus 3 times dy plus 4y is equals to 0. If you take y common out of here, you'll have d square minus d minus 3d plus 4 is equals to 0 or d square minus 4d plus 4 is equals to 0. So from here, my auxiliary equation, my auxiliary equation becomes m square minus 4m plus 4 is equals to 0. Now, if you see this equation, this is basically the expansion of m minus 2 whole square. So from here, I'll get the value of m1 and m2, both of them equal to 2. So my general solution, it will be combination of c1 and c2z e raised to the power mz. The value of m in this case is going to be 2. So you'll have c1 e raised to the power 2z plus c2z e raised to the power 2z. This is complementary function and this is a function I'm going to use to find out the particular integral. Uh, if I substitute the value of x over here, and we have c1 e raised to the power 2 log x plus c2 log x e raised to the power 2 log x. 
right these two will go to the power of x uh, in both the cases so the final yc value in terms of x will be equal to c1 x square plus c2 x square log x right now over here let's find out the particular integral for which i will be needing value of y1 and y2 so the value of y1 in my case is e a to the power 2z and y2 is z e to the power 2z So let's substitute these values to find out the value of W. So W will become first of all y one e raised to the power two z, y two z e raised to the power two z, and uh, if I differentiate the first part, it will become two e raised to the power two z. If I differentiate the second part, it will become first of all let's uh, keep the z constant. So we we'll get two z e raised to the power two z, then. Let's keep this constant. So I'll left with e to the power two z. Now let's solve this one. So I'll get two z e to the power four z plus e to the power four z minus two z e to the power four z. So basically, I'll be left with e to the power four z itself. Now I need to substitute this value in by p. The equation of by p is. Minus y one integration of y two by w f of z dz plus y two integration of y one by w f of z dz. Now over here the function f of x is x square. In terms of z, it will become e raised to the power two z. So let's substitute the values over here. Uh, I'll be having minus e raised to the power two z integration y two is z e raised to the power two z by w is e raised to the power four z f of z is e raised to the power two z dz plus y two is z e raised to the power two z integration y one e raised to the power two z w e raised to the power four z f of z is e to the power two z dz. So what I'll be having is uh, let's solve this one. Uh, e to the power two z inside the bracket I'll have e to the power four z in numerator and e to the power four z in denominator, which will get cancelled. So I'll be having z dz. Similarly, z e to the power two z. In the second part also, these two and these two will get added up. So I'll have e to the power four z upon e to the power four z, which will get cancelled up. So I'll be left with only d z. Yes, d z. Now the integration part is easy over here. So I'll have e to the power two z into z square by two plus z e to the power two z into z. So on solving, z square e to the power two z by two plus z square e to the power two z. Or this will become. Minus n. So if we take the LCM, uh, it will become one minus one by two, so one by two. So we'll have z square e to the power two z by two. Again, if you value, substitute the value of x, it will become log x square e to the power two log x by two. Or in simplified terms, the value of y p will be x square log x whole square by two. So the value of y is basically the summation of y c plus y p, or which in this case is c one x square plus c two x square log x plus x square log of x by two whole square. Now, the next is to substitute the values. So uh, we will be substituting the initial conditions over here in this equation. So let's do that. The value of y that we have obtained is c one x square plus c two x square 
log of x plus x square log of x whole square divided by this was log of x whole square. Now, if I have, if I substitute the value of x equals to 1, but the value of y is 1, for which this part will become 0 and this part will become 0 since we have log of x, uh, log of x over here and log of 1 is 0. So, I'll have c1, 1 square is equals to 1 or the value of c1 is going to be equal to 1. Now, uh, in order to differentiate it, let's differentiate it. Uh, I'll have 2c1x plus 2 c two x log x plus c2 x square by x plus x square by 2 2 x by 2 log of x whole square plus x square by 2 2 log x by x. Simplifying this, you'll get 2c1x plus 2c2x log x plus c2 of x plus x log x whole square plus x log x. Now, if for x equals to 1, y dash is equals to 0. So if I substitute x equal to 1 in this equation, this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0, this term becomes 0. Why? Because we have log of x and log of 1 is 0. Right. So from here, these three terms become 0 and I'll be left with y dash, which is 0, is equals to 2c1 of 1 plus c2 of 1. Now I have already had the value of c1, which is 1. So this will be 1 only and the value of c2 will become minus 2. So if I substitute this value in y, I got the value of y, c1 and c2. Let's substitute this value in y. So I'll be have x square minus 2x square log x plus x square by 2 log x whole square. This is going to be the final answer after finding out the boundary condition initial uh, the value of constants using the initial and boundary conditions well that's it for this particular video we have solved three good questions thanks for watching